Well, at least he gave it the old college try. Did he really, though? Did he really? Well, at least give CM Punk this. The second fight for him went better than the first one. He at least lasted more than two minutes. He went the entire length of the fight. That's progress, baby! Progress! And a clear-cut indication that enough is enough. It is time for CM Punk to stop playing fantasy fucking fighter and move the hell on with his life. This whole thing about, oh, you gotta respect them, and I admire somebody who goes out there and tries and then he fails. Look, I respect CM Punk tremendously for what he did as a professional wrestler. This was a dude that had a dream, a vision, a goal for himself and his life. And he put every ounce of him into that goal and became one of the biggest names, the biggest stars in the wrestling business. He had a dream. He busted his ass to go after his dream and ultimately achieved his dream. That is absolutely something worth respecting. And I respect that about Philip Brooks. No question. I also respect the fact that he got to a point in time where he said, I don't want to do it anymore. And even if I don't necessarily agree with the approach, I don't think it was necessarily the most professional way to handle himself, he still got to a point where a lot of us can only hope and dream in life we can get to. We don't like our job. We can say, F it, I'm out, screw you, I don't need you. And the reality is, as much as we might like to think about that from time to time, as much as we might think that that is something we want to do or are going to do, a lot of us just are not in a position where we actually can. CM Punk was in that position. Hell yeah, I respect that. I might not have respected the approach. The approach could have used some work. Kind of leaving the company a little bit high and dry. Not the best way, most professional way to conduct and carry himself. But at least he had gotten to a point where he could do that if he wanted to. And then he also was able to utilize his leverage because of what he did in professional wrestling, because of the name and attention that CM Punk can draw. He was able to take that leverage and go try and be a fantasy fighter for a couple of years. I even respect that. But when we start getting into this space where we talk about, oh, I respect them so much for going out there and getting hit. That takes so much courage. Give me a freaking break. As a kid, I got my ass whooped all the time. You didn't see me getting a big, massive, mid-six-figure payout for that shit? How much courage does it really take to sit there and know, hey, no matter what, I'm going to sit there and make a crap ton of money doing something so a guy can beat on me for a couple of minutes or in the... Most recent example, a couple of rounds. How many of you would do that for a fraction of what CM Punk got? Let's not overstate this. Let's not sit there and pump him so full of smoke because deep, deep down, a lot of you die for the day that he'll come back to professional wrestling and you think in some way, shape, or form by kissing his ass that that's going to help facilitate that when ding dong, dumb dicks, it absolutely isn't. There's nothing inherently respectable about that other than the fact that he tried and he failed. And you know what? That's cool. Because sometimes your greatest successes come off of the heels of failure. But ultimately, the dude failed. And let's not make it out to be some dramatic, manliest of manliest thing. You, me, a lot of other people would do the same damn thing in that situation. Again, if I used to as a kid get my ass whooped for free, I can imagine how much I would be willing to sit there and say, hey, I will practice every single day for a couple of years for one fight, then a couple of more years for a second fight. I'll go out and get my ass whooped and for a few minutes worth of work, I'll make a half million dollars a pop. Does that really take a whole lot of courage? Does that take a whole lot of testicular fortitude? Ah! -ah! Ding dong, dumb dicks, I don't think so. And it's just one of these things 
It's like you had four and a half damn years almost to actually become good. And you still suck. And you're not even facing a champion or a top fight fighter. Flight fighter, excuse me. You're sitting there and just facing a dude. A jag, just another guy. And you're still getting dominated. You're still getting your ass whooped. Like, I'm sorry. I fully have confidence that a few of you out there watching this could spend four and a half years practicing, training, and preparing and put up a better fight against Mike Jackson than fucking CM Punk did. All he's done has been able to sit there and do something else other than wrestling because he got beaten down by wrestling. He got tired of wrestling. He got bored with wrestling. So he wanted to sit there and play Fantasy Fighter. Cool. You did what you needed to do to earn the leverage to have the right and opportunity to be able to do that. But the fact that Dana White, outside of just a sheer pathetic cash money grab, which is all this is, actually decides to put him on a main UFC card for the second time, because again, the first time was such a raging boner of success is an absolute and complete farce. CM Punk has no business in a UFC octagon. CM Punk has no business ever fighting on any type of UFC card ever again. Don't sit there and tell me respect this and respect that. I will respect when the dude acknowledges he's not good enough. And after all this time, he clearly can't figure it out. It is time to close, slam shut that chapter of his life and move the hell on. It's time. Go back to what you're good at. Go back to what you're great at. Go back to a business that really needs you. It's like CM Punk keeps looking for something. Because if he said he didn't need this or he didn't want to do that, he wanted to go play fantasy fucking fighter. Clearly he is searching for something. Clearly he is looking for something. And clearly based off of the results that we've seen out of his two fights in four and a half years, he's not looking to become a good MMA fighter. He's not looking to become a real bona fide fighter in the UFC. Clearly. It's okay. You live, you learn, you try, you fail, and then at some point in time, you acknowledge, you move the hell on. Don't make any excuses about the stupid trial uh, against the WWE Dr. Amon. Don't sit there and give me this. Don't sit there and give me that. The dude just isn't any damn good. And no, I don't have to give him any special respect because he went out there and yet again got his shit kicked in. He got rocked. He's just lucky he didn't get knocked the fuck out. I'm not going to respect that shit. All right, tell you what. Start a GoFundMe. Raise $500,000. Give me two and a half years to train for a damn fight. Put me in the UFC. And I at least last as long as CM Punk did in his first fight. And then all of you can come on here and talk about how tough I am. And what testicular fortitude I have. And what type of respect you have for me. And all this other bullshit. Stop being soft. Stop being pussies. Separating the wrestler from the man. And realizing the dude's kind of pathetic now. In the sense that he spent all this time getting an opportunity that other legit real fighters don't get. Just to sit there and go out there and absolutely suck. Respect my ass. Guts my ass. Punk's working all of you now. He's working the UFC. Working them to the tune of another mid-six-figure payout. To absolutely suck. Now that, I will say is the American way. But that has absolutely no business ever, ever being in the UFC again. It is time to let it go. Stop kissing his ass. It's okay to say the dude sucks because clearly it's obvious to all to see, I would hope up to and including Philip Brooks, that CM Punk has no business in an octagon ever again. Fantasy time is over. Time to come back to reality, Phil. Go back where the fuck you belong and go be a star and make a bunch of money while you still can in professional wrestling. 
Let it go. You tried, you failed, it's okay. Come back where you know you belong and everybody else fucking wants to see you and everybody else knows more importantly you damn belong because it sure as hell isn't in the octagon.